Hey Maker, if you're tired of your product getting cut out of the listing image thumbnail on Etsy, no matter what aspect ratio you use, this video is for you. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole, and I'm a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. As a product photography coach for makers, the question I get most often is what aspect ratio should I use for my Etsy photos? There is a lot of confusion around this topic and for very good reason. If we head to the Etsy seller handbook, Etsy states, the first photo in the listing should be horizontal or square. But then further down, they say to avoid square crops and use an aspect ratio of 4-3. And then in June and July of 2023, Etsy ran an experiment concluding that buyers are more likely to make a purchase when a shop displays square photos. Etsy states, starting in early August of 2023, listing images in your shop home will display in a square format, but as a best practice, we recommend uploading photos that work for multiple crops and ratios like square or rectangle. And to add to the confusion, if you take your question to YouTube, some coaches are recommending square and some are recommending a rectangle like 4-3 or 5-4. Who is right? Well, technically there isn't a right or wrong answer here. It's my job to run tests and then educate you on the results I get. What you need to understand and take away from this video is how Etsy will make adjustments based on the aspect ratio you choose to use. So in this video, I'm going to show you what my test revealed, and then I'm going to give you my professional recommendation on what I think the best aspect ratio is for the majority of makers. Quick disclaimer, I will not be covering resizing as a whole in this video. If you want to learn more about resizing in my three step process, click the link up here or you can grab it in the description below. Let's start with what my tests revealed. First, we're gonna take a look at the Etsy app and how your images will display in search on mobile devices and tablets. I already mentioned this, but as a quick reminder, your product photos display differently on different devices. So on Android devices, your images are going to display as a 4-3 aspect ratio in search. And on Apple devices, your images are going to display as a 5-4 aspect ratio in search. But if someone clicks into your shop, your shop homepage will display your images as a square on both Android and Apple devices. Now let's take a look at how your photos will display on a computer in the browser. When shoppers use a Mac or a PC to search for products on Etsy, your images are displayed as a square aspect ratio in search and on your shop homepage. I just shared what my tests revealed, but I need to give you a quick disclaimer. Your results could be different from mine. Over the past year, there have been times where my results were different from my students' results. Sometimes the aspect ratio is different, but sometimes the overall display of listings in search was different. This just means that Etsy is running tests. So if you aren't seeing on your end what I just shared, that is okay. Etsy is typically running tests on square and rectangular type aspect ratios, as well as how the listings are laid out in search. Again, what you need to take away from this video is an understanding of how Etsy is going to crop your photos based on the aspect ratio you choose to use. Let's take a look at how Etsy is going to display your photos across the platform if you choose to upload them as a 4-3 aspect ratio. 
If you crop your images to a 4-3 aspect ratio, this is how Etsy will crop to display them as a 5-4 and a square. Keep in mind that they will appear as a 5-4 in Etsy search on Apple devices. And notice you don't lose much of the image in this scenario. However, when Etsy goes to crop the 4-3 to a square, you are losing a significant portion of the left and right of your image. With this specific scenario, the goal is to keep your product within that square crop so it doesn't get cut out. Next, let's take a look at how Etsy is going to display your images if you upload them as a 5-4 aspect ratio. If you crop your images to a 5-4 aspect ratio, this is how Etsy will crop to display them as a 4-3 and a square. Keep in mind that they will appear as a 4-3 in search on Android devices. Notice how you don't lose much of the image in this scenario. Just a tiny bit from the top and bottom. However, when Etsy goes to crop the 5-4 to a square, you're losing a little bit of a bigger portion of the left and right of the image. If you choose to use a 5-4, keep in mind that you will have to leave room on all four sides of the image to account for both crops. Finally, let's take a look at what Etsy will do if you upload your photos as a square aspect ratio. Things get a little more complicated in this scenario, even though I was very generous with my product placement and framing, I'm still dealing with the product getting cut out. Keep in mind when Etsy crops to a 4.3 to display the image in search on Android devices, the top and bottom of the image will get cut out. And when they appear as a 5.4 in Etsy search on Apple devices, this is what will be removed from the image. My professional recommendation is to use a 4-3 aspect ratio while keeping your product within that square crop. Your pixel dimension should be 2,667 by 2,000 with your file size under one megabyte. And here is why 4-3 is my recommendation. First, it's Etsy's recommendation. Even though Etsy's 2023 test concluded that buyers are more likely to make a purchase when a shop displays square photos, Etsy has not changed their recommendation in the seller handbook. For listing thumbnails, it still says to avoid square crops and use a 4-3 aspect ratio. Second, if you're shooting with a smartphone, more than likely what comes out of that smartphone is already a 4-3 aspect ratio. This makes it super easy to frame your product when you're taking product photos. Third, when using a 4-3 aspect ratio, you only have to account for a portion of left and right of the image being cut out. If you upload as a 5-4, you have to account for a portion of the left, right, top, and bottom being cut out depending on how Etsy displays it. Four, I don't recommend a square at this time like other coaches because if you upload as a square, Etsy will cut the top and bottom of the crop for search on mobile. This means you can't fill the image frame with your product as much, resulting in your product showing smaller, making it more difficult to see your product on the shop homepage on mobile devices. And fifth, 4.3 optimizes your images for search on mobile. Etsy's 2023 fourth quarter financial report revealed that 68% of sales come from mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets. And this number continues to rise year over year. This tells us that a majority of shoppers are hanging out in search on their mobile devices. On top of the three aspect ratios that Etsy is using in search and on your shop homepage, there are many aspect ratios being used on the Etsy homepage and with the new gift mode features. We cannot account for all of these aspect ratios. And when we can't make our images look great everywhere, we have to focus on where it really matters. We have to optimize for the locations where the majority of shoppers are gonna be viewing your listings. And that is gonna be in search and on your shop homepage.
Keep in mind, my recommendation is not absolute. I believe it to be the best practice for most sellers. Only you know the best option for your product and your personal workflow. That is why in this video, I explained what will happen when you upload each different aspect ratio. My hope is that I gave you the right information so that you can make the best decision for yourself. But if you still have questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And since I covered a lot of information in this video that you may want to come back and reference from time to time, I created a printable PDF covering everything that I talked about in this video. Click here to grab your free copy of my complete guide to sizing images for Etsy 2024, or you can grab the link in the description below. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.